Hey guys, it's Alicia. I decided to film an in-depth tutorial today on my contour routine and basically a beginner's guide to how to contour and highlight your face. I know I have posted so many uh, contour videos on Instagram and on TikTok, but those can only be up to 60 seconds. So I haven't really been able to go in depth and explain to you guys what products I use and why I use them and what I do and why I do it. So I figured this would be a great idea for you guys to just see an in-depth tutorial. So if you guys want to see how I contour and highlight my face really, really simply, please keep on watching. So I have all my foundation on already. My full base is ready to go. I used the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Matte for that. And as you can tell, I know I look a little bit funny right now but it's all for a reason i promise i skipped a uh, foundation under my eyes and i normally do this because i'm going over that area with concealer anyways so i want to avoid cakiness as much as i can so doing this process i feel like really helps you avoid that cakey look because you're going over with concealer anyways i know it looks funny i know but trust me, it's a process. So I like to start with my contour first and then I go in with the concealer. I just like to map out where I want that shading to be. So I'm using my favorite, the Kylie Cosmetics Bronze Medium Contour Stick. And I like to apply it in that three shape. So basically anywhere you apply a cream contour or a bronzer or anything like that, this is the area that's going to shrink and become smaller and more hollow. So that's why we apply it to the forehead and the hollows of the cheekbone and the jawline, just to make it look more sculpted and more snatched. Okay, so what I like to do for my nose contour using the same Kylie stick, I'm just going to focus it mainly right here connecting my uh, nose to my eyebrow because you don't want any like floating bones if you know what i mean you want it all to connect and look like this is your real nose bone is that the right word nose bone nose bridge of the nose so yeah you want it all to connect so i take it underneath my nose too and that's just really gonna lift your nose And then I take it right here to give again that more lifted look. I put a little bit on the sides, just like that. Pretty simple. So now that you have all the areas that you want contoured and shrunk, I'm going to be applying a concealer, a brightening concealer on the areas that you want to lift and like pop out a little bit. So that's gonna be in the center of your forehead, down the bridge of your nose, especially, you know, under your eyes, obviously, your chin and like areas like that. So I'm using the Rare Beauty Concealer in the shade 170W. I really like this concealer because it's super lightweight, like really lightweight, but it has that coverage and that brightening effect. So I like that. I don't want like a cakey look. So for the under eye part, this is like the main part I think that really does that lifting effect. I apply it directly like right in the inner corner of my eye and I also go down the bridge of my nose, down the sides a bit. And right here a little and the tip of my nose as well is right there. So this is the lifting part, I lied. This is the main lifting part. You want to take your concealer and you want to apply it right here. I know you've probably seen this everywhere on TikTok and Instagram and YouTube. It's like the new thing that everyone's discovering, but it's true. It works. You want to apply it right here. This is what's really gonna lift your eyes. So to start blending everything together, this is where the magic happens. I'm gonna start off with blending the contour first. And to do that, I'm using my favorite little brush. I use the Hourglass Foundation Brush. I used to use this for my foundation, but I discovered I really like it for blending in my contour. So I'm gonna do that. So 
So to really get that lifted, snatched look, keep in mind, it's really, really important. This is like crucial. You need to blend your contour upwards. If you blend it downwards, you're really just gonna drag your face down. There's gonna be no lift, no depth, nothing really. It's just gonna look like a little bit of a mess. <laughs> Either way, I'm gonna go in with powder after and kind of clean up the edges. This side came out better than this side, but it's okay. It's easy to fix because we haven't set anything yet. And same for your jaw. You want to go a little bit downwards to really sharpen it, just like that. So now that everything's blended out contour wise, it still looks a little bit on the messy side, but once you blend in all your concealer and you set everything, that's when really it starts to pull together and you see that lifted look. If your contour gets a little bit messy, just like this area here, it's not as sharp as I want it to be. I am gonna go back in with baking powder after and kind of clean up the edges. But in the meanwhile, because it's bothering me, I'm gonna take a little bit of that same concealer before I blend it all. I'm just gonna apply it a little bit right under my cheek, right there and there. I might as well do it on the other side too. And I'm gonna take my concealer brush, which is this one. I like the Real Techniques, what is this? Expert face brush for my concealer. And a lot of people ask me this too, um, why I don't use like beauty sponges. I have nothing against them. I like them. I have used them in the past. I honestly just haven't bought one in a while. So <laughs> I've been using my brushes and I find no problem with them. I really like them, but I may go back to the beauty sponge soon. Yeah. Okay. So let's get into cleaning this up a little bit. See the difference that made? I'm just pulling this part down. So with your contour, you want to go more upwards. And then with this highlight, I'm bringing it down a little bit. I normally don't have to do this, but got a little messy for a second. I mean, you could do this if you really wanted that extra um, clean contour and a little bit more of a brightening right there I know people tend to do that I normally don't on a daily basis but I guess for the sake of the video and the sake of my mess up I'm gonna do that today so now for all the areas that you highlighted I'm gonna take the same little concealer brush and I'm gonna buff that out but I do it in a certain motion if that makes sense you'll see so with my forehead I'm kind of fanning it out like this. I don't always highlight my forehead. Depends. If I'm going for like a super snatched contoured look, like I really want that full effect of the contour and highlight, I'll do this. Okay, so now I'm gonna skip my nose and I'm doing that for a reason because I still have that contour there. I'm gonna go in with a tinier brush after to really get all the lines on my nose and get it contoured to how I want it to look very like precise and um, snatch. So I'm gonna go in with a tiny brush. So let's do the eyes. So I'm blending it out. I'm not like meshing these two pieces together of highlight. I'm kind of focusing the blending right just where the highlight is. And I'm going up my nose really lightly. Cause like I said, I'm going in with a tiny brush after. And to get this little area here that the brush doesn't reach, I just use my finger and I tap that in. And I also kind of go over my nose contour, just a little bit with my finger. Okay. So now with this side, I'm again focusing just on the area that I put the concealer and I'm blending it upwards like that this is like the real snatch this is like 
the little part that really does it. All right, so now that my face is pretty much all highlighted and contoured, I still have my nose to do. So to do my nose, I use the Sigma Precision Angled Brush. It is the P84 brush. It's just a nice little precise angled brush and it just really gets in to the little crevices there and it makes the lines like really nice and sharp. So I'm just gonna blend that all out. So again, you really wanna connect these lines that you drew here to your eyebrow. That's really gonna slim out the top portion of your nose. I kinda also like to drag it like right under my brow and connect it into like my eyelid area. I recently started doing this and I feel like it really makes all the difference. So lightly, I'm gonna just drag it um, down the sides of my nose. I have a really thin bridge already, so it's kind of hard to even draw on the contour in that area. So I'm just gonna shade it a little bit. I'm blending out the tip of my nose. This also, I feel like the top and the tip of the nose really does the most in shaping and lifting my nose. And this little spot right here gives that little like button nose look. So for the little highlighted areas on my nose, I'm just going to tap that in and blend it out with my finger. So now to kind of just set everything, I use mainly three powders for this. I use the Kylie Cosmetics Translucent Loose Setting Powder for like my whole face. And then for brightening underneath my eyes or any of the areas that I applied concealer, I use the Kylie Cosmetics Soft Pink Translucent Powder. And I feel like the soft pink is really, really brightening and it blends in really nicely with blush after because it has that little pink hue to it. So I do that and then after I wipe away that under eye bake that I used with the um, soft pink, I recently started using the Charlotte Tilbury, uh, what's it called? Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder Setting Powder and I use the shade number one Fair and I just apply this mainly again on the areas that I highlighted as like a brightening powder. So I don't use too much, just a little bit, and I kind of dab it everywhere. I'm avoiding my under eye area because I'm going to go in with powder, with the soft pink powder afterwards. So I try to avoid um, layering products as much as I can because the more you layer, the more product you have. So that's just going to cause cakiness. So I'm going over my whole face pretty much with the translucent. So this is one of my favorite parts. I like to use uh, the Kylie Cosmetics Soft Pink Loose Powder on the areas that I really want that extra brightness. So I'm going under my eyes and down the sides of my nose. So I just wiped off any excess powder uh, that I had under my eyes from the Kylie Cosmetics Soft Pink Powder because now I'm gonna brighten up my under eyes even more using the Charlotte Tilbury Powder. I'm just applying that right under my eyes and down the sides of my nose.
So I really like this powder because it's super duper fine and the description also says that it's supposed to be very like smoothing and really minimize the look of pores and I find that that's really true. It really does smooth that area here and this is like where I would say I have my largest pores and it really does make you look super flawless. So I love it. Now that the cream contour looks a little bit kind of hidden by all the powders that we had put on, I'm gonna go over everything with the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. And this is just gonna kind of bring a little bit more warmth back to the face and really accentuate the cream contour we had put on earlier. So another important step in a contour routine that I think people often forget is blush. The placement of your blush can really either lift your face and make it look very oval or it can make it look very round, all just depending on where you place your blush. So where I like to place my blush, honestly, I kind of just like put it everywhere because I love blush so much. Like I have an oval face already. so. I still do put a little bit of blush here, but I like to focus it a little bit around here. But for the purpose of this video on how to make your face look snatched or really lifted, I'm gonna be applying it mainly here just so you guys can see that effect. So I love a really, really, really bright pink blush. So I'm using the Kylie Cosmetics Pink Dreams blush. This one is my favorite, it's my go-to. I love it so much. So I'm mainly applying it right above the area that I contoured and kind of having those two mesh together, the contour and the blush. So like I said, I put blush like everywhere. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm just gonna do the way that I like to do it just so you guys can see what I do. So I'm gonna go back on this side. I smile and I put it right here. Because naturally that is where you blush. You don't like blush up here, you know what I mean? But again, for that lifted look, I would recommend really focusing on this area. But this is how I like to do it. I also put a little bit like over my nose to give that like flushed, natural blush look. I mean, this isn't natural. It's like a lot of blush, but again, just what I like to do. So the last step in your contour routine would be a highlighter. I personally am not a huge fan or like someone that uses a lot of highlighter on my cheeks. I just, I don't know, I like a matte face, but I do like to, con sorry, to highlight my nose. So I'm gonna show you guys what I use to do that. So to highlight my nose, I really like to use the shade Bali from the Carly Bible. X Anastasia palette. I just find it to be like so pretty and like so pearly. It just really makes your nose like pop and like gives that little extra lift, which I love. That's the only area that I like to highlight on my face. So I'm just gonna take a little tiny Morphe brush just to get right on those areas that I wanna highlight. If you want to clean up any contour lines, any harsh lines, or anything that looks a little bit messy, I would go back in with the translucent powder, just a little bit, not too much, and kind of just press that in and let that sit and bake for a second. 
So once you let that powder kind of sit and soak in for a second, you can just wipe it right off. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys like this video and I hope you found it helpful, even in the slightest bit. I hope I was able to teach you something. So if you did, please be sure to like this video and please subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.